My name is Latrina Stokes. I work at the Jeanette Rankin Women's Scholarship Fund. Women 35 and older going back to school to complete their undergraduate degrees. We award scholarships, $2,000. I was actually a Jeanette Rankin Scholar from 2011 until 2014 when I graduated from the University of Georgia. So it's come full circle for Latrina. I now went from scholarship recipient to now scholarship program manager. How awesome is that? My name is Jonathan Swinsberg. I'm actually a cancer survivor. As I was recovering, I started uh, going back to school to get a GED. And then it just kind of dominoed in uh, going back and getting my associate's degree. I won an award uh, for the state of Georgia as the top adult learner in 2017 called the Eagle Exceptional Adult Georgian and Literacy Education Award. I finished my associate's degree at Athens Technical College and I actually just got accepted at the University of Georgia. My intended major at the University of Georgia is electrical engineering. My name is Tatiana Pinto. I go to Agnes Scott College and I'm currently majoring in biology in a dual degree program with Emory. So my family and I were from El Salvador and we currently live in Athens, Georgia. I have five other siblings. My baby sister makes my heart happy. She's 11 months and I just feel really happy with her. It's like, I look at her and I'm like, this is the future too. My name is Ali Elliman. Um, I grew up in Americus, Georgia. I'm currently majoring in history and political science. Well, I'd like to go into policy work and possibly go to law school. Gotten leadership roles in a ton of different uh, service organizations. I really enjoy working with the Campus Kitchen, which serves about 50 low-income families in the athens Carr County area, um, and it's almost completely student-ran. I really enjoy the work I do to help people in the community um, because one of the things that you know allowed me to go to the university is the generosity of others. So I see a, a large value in like paying that forward and being grateful for the opportunity I was given. For my hometown, I think we typically have like three or four kids from the public school go to Georgia and most don't go to college at all because there are so many students in the state that you know don't have that opportunity. Um, my name is Adriana Edwards and I go to the University of Georgia. I was born in Conyers and then I went into foster care when I was about four, moved around for about four years and then um, was adopted and we lived in Douglasville. So I just kind of say I'm from Metro Atlanta. I've lived all over. <laughs> I'm a psychology major with a minor in African languages and literature with a certificate in African studies. I know it's a mouthful. <laughs> I um, plan on going into the military once I graduate. I'm actually starting that process now. And um, so hopefully in January, I'll be shipping off to basic. And then after that, I kind of want to pair the psychology with a nursing degree. So plan on kind of doing psychiatric nursing in the long run. <laughs> I had worked in the research field and it's grant funded money. You don't really know, well you kind of sort of know in the beginning that this grant is for five years or this grant is for ten years, but when that money runs out, if there isn't another grant, you're pretty much out of a job. And so having a family, I've always felt like a hypocrite, you know, telling my kids to do good in school. You don't want to be like me working all day and not having nothing to show for it because it's really a hard struggle when you don't have an education. I, I never even pictured getting my diploma, much less a degree, not, and now, you know, even going for a bachelor's degree at the University of Georgia, it's just, to me, it's like, wow. I believe that everyone came here, the majority of my friends, as well as myself, came here because of our parents, because they wanted to allow us to give this American dream that we heard about in our countries. And we've all, like, every single night we stayed up studying just to try to graduate high school and try to go and, like, meet the same levels our peers had. And for us, it just means a great deal of opportunities. Even though we don't have the same opportunities as our peers, even just a little bit goes a long way, especially what I know a lot of people have done for us and Yuli has done for us. I just feel like just allowing 
a crack in the door open for us is a lot already. My freshman year, I got to attend college for free. Um, I was a Zell Miller scholar, so um, that, you know, is just merit based on grades and GPA. My senior year of high school, I sat in my technology teacher's classroom and I just filled out fast web scholarships all day. I filled out about 24 applications and I won three, which was about $12,000. When I came to school, my relationship with my parents, it was already, with my adoptive parents, it was already bad and it just fell apart. So basically there's no relationship there anymore. So I became an independent student and I've been doing it on my own. I was able to get Pell Grant and um, different need-based aid through that. So that's how I've been able to maintain and stay in school. The uh, Office of Student Financial Aid Scholars Program has been really impactful. They were able to provide me with enough money to just get in the door at Georgia because I originally didn't qualify for enough even just loan money to be able to attend the university. Zell Miller really only pays for tuition. It doesn't even pay for the, the fees portion. I actually, um, while entering my sophomore year, was financially emancipated. Um, so I qualified for more federal aid that helped to fill the gap. Everything costs so much these days. Um, the cost of living is so high. And so I could see where somebody would just kind of give up because it's very hard to juggle school and work. And if, they, if there was more opportunities presented to where people didn't have to work as much and they could kind of focus on their school, I think that would keep a lot more people in school. If nothing's done to help our students, I feel like we're gonna lose a lot of really, really knowledgeable people or individuals who, act, who do have that spark in them to make a change in our state. Well, I recently went to the Embark Conference, the Celebration of Excellence, which is held in Atlanta every year for foster kids and homeless youth that are just graduating high school or college or something. And I was really happy about what I saw because I saw a lot of, you know, younger kids and people graduating high school that were able to make it to college out of their situation. But I just really hope that we can increase that because I think there's just a lot of room to improve in helping low-income students and all students, really. I gotta make a better life for my family. And for me to do that, I had to keep going, but to get that call from the Jeanette Rankin Women's Scholarship Fund saying, hey, we see what you're doing, we're excited about that, and we want to award you a scholarship. That one phone call alone made me make the decision to say, okay, while I don't want these student loans, but I have somebody who now not only believes in me, but is willing to invest in me, so let's just make it happen. What lawmakers need to understand when it comes to students who are at school, especially students who are struggling, a lot of students, they are not aware of what's out there for them. They're not aware that there are these programs in place. And then also, um, it would be like 20 merit scholarships, and then you have to have the 4.0 GPA and all this stuff. But meanwhile, I'm over here, there are times like I didn't have food and stuff and I couldn't pay for my books and things like that but I can't get any aid because my grades aren't that good. Like when I was in high school, I graduated high school with a 4.1 GPA. I got to college and my GPA tanked, not because I'm not capable of doing the work, not because I am not smart enough to do the work, but there are just so many extenuating circumstances, just a lot of it financial and trying to figure things out on my own that, you know, could have been alleviated if I had the help and if I had known about help earlier. So I, it's just making it available and making it known to students that it's even there, you know.